Hey there, everyone. This is Zokao continuing the WarioWare grid, and I, I like I don't mean to sound down on on Arbilon here, but I still just think the pacing is just completely out of whack. Hey, we're doing that game, like the voting thing. Noodle Cup, twenty points. Pour hot water into the tubular conduits. You will make what is called noodles. Yeah, n move kettle and then you pour. Yeah, like, because you gotta select. But yeah, it's just look where you are and then you press button. There you go. It's very easy. You just need to do it backwards. Now it's all just a matter of do you have time to do it backwards, right? Because, alright, so yeah. So you, you look, you look at the, not the, ramen, the ramen, and you eyeball your way up the tube to see where it ends up, and then you press button. And then look at that, if it goes one way, it will go the other way. Would it be possible to manufacture a device such as this where that tactic would not work? I don't think so. I don't see how it would be physically possible to make it so so if you switch way, like it wouldn't fit, because that just doesn't make any sense. Like just the way physics works. Also, I feel like I'm just constantly doing the same things. I remember these being kind of hard, but I think it's because when I was getting the, like it's it's this is true for a lot of the just the the, the Orbalon games. I feel like like okay, so like the grid in general. Whoops, I messed it up. The grid in general, I feel like sort of corrupts uh, how the game normally works because a big part of the challenge is the fact that you have to adapt quickly to what is being presented to you and then you know you gotta do a thing right and like you know what like okay that's fine and that works great but um a big part of that is the unpredictability because like you you don't know what's going to happen and you have just like so much time to figure out what you gotta do and then do it but in grid mode you know exactly what's coming up next and like i've, I've talked about this before and I, I still think it's true. Like, the fact that you know what's going to happen makes things significantly easier. Because you can redder your mind. Like, it's like, okay, like, I know I'm going to be going up tubes with my eyeballs. And that changes a lot. Like, that is a meaningful little extra advantage. And I feel like, for the most part, for the action games, that's fine. Like, for the, like most of the action games, reaction games and whatnot, they still work. It does make them a little bit easier, but you know, you have to do like a lot in a row. Like that's how that's compensated. And uh, you know what, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly logical. But with these puzzle games, it doesn't work nearly as much. But I mean like, that's fine. Like, like doing the puzzle games themselves was a good idea. Like overall, like this is a very good category of minigame. And I'm glad it exists. Like, I genuinely am. And I mean, and I like the grid idea. That's not gonna do. Whoa! Okay, so there is a time component. The water needs to get there in time. That's pretty good. Or maybe it's because I was wrong. Because I think I was wrong. Uh, it's gonna be easy. So yeah, like, it's just, it's a confluence of two things that are very good idea. And I'm glad it exists. It's just that... They just so happen not to mix up together, particularly. Uh, I just, uh, plus button on time. It's gonna happen sometimes. Here you go. Just let it flow through. I uh, uh you? Uh no. That that would have been wrong anyways. Yeah, I mean like what happens a lot. Like the same thing happened with the gear game. Where at some point, you just see some of the setups and you just know. Like, oh, it's this shape of pipe? Alright, you do this. Uh, the gear game kind of devolved into that after a point, but near the end there, I was getting new pipe formations and I, I didn't know what to do. Pretty wild. Find my behind! 15 points. One of these replicant life units standing. Exactly opposite the leader. Watch the feet and hands. Wow, just go ahead and play the game for yourself while you're at it. No, yeah, you gotta find like the mirror. 
See, like, it's all straight, square, like that. There you go. That one had, had square hair. But it is mirrored, so you gotta keep your eye on that. Wow, that's a lot to observe. Like, you gotta keen in on what's different, like, immediately. This one was the only one with the arms outstretched. So there's gonna be, I feel like this is telling me, yeah, there's only one with, like, square hair. So, you gotta keen in on the difference very quickly. And I mean, right now you get plenty of time. But, uh, uh, yeah, so reverse, because they turn around. And this one, C was a little bit less simple. Uh, 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 square and peg. Yeah, there we go. And two arms. You know what? There was a lot going on there. I wasn't sure. Um, only one arm. What? Oh, the foot was different in the back. Oh, that's mean. That one was a bit mean. Ah, okay. It was a very, very small detail. Wow, this is the first one where I'm feeling the crunch in terms of, uh, what? No, I didn't reverse. Like, I know to mirror, but I didn't. Why not? You. Foot pointing down. See, I got got by the foot pointing before. So now I know to look for it. Alright, so this is a common level 1-1. One one. Um, you're the only one with triangle hair, so that makes it easy. Like, if, if the hair is different, that's the easiest way to tell. Uh, foot up. Only one with foot up. Alright, okay. He has his mask. Here we go. Oh, the only one with castle hair. Alright. I don't know how to describe that. I feel like castle hair kinda does a good job. Only one with triangle hair. Alright, and I won. Okay. Okay. Um, foot parallel. There we go. Do 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 do. Alright, uh, the only one with the right triangle hair. The correct one, not necessarily the right angle one, because I don't know. Two hands, castle, here we go. One of them looked sand. Little stubby foot. Alright, okay. Um, you, there we go. The, yeah, like, the that level one can be kind of one of the hardest, I feel like, sometimes. Because, like, using the feet is actually, like, such a good tell, now that I look for it. So I feel like level three only works as a level three when you're not playing this in the grid. But in the context of the grid, level 3 is the easiest, because I know to look for the feet. Uh, this one. I pressed the button, though! But I did press it kind of late. I was a bit late to react there, because I wasn't sure. I don't know why I wasn't sure. You? I'm not sure. I just pressed the button. Yeah, okay. So at that point, I just did not have time to do my visual evaluation. Maybe I did. I would have if I was not narrating. But not narrating is not an option, so... Get! Ja groove on 20 points follow the mute the muscle coordination units what instructions uh, coach I guess and create what is termed a dance yeah it's Simon says I remember that one there's two Simon says here I remember that uh, uh, right all right okay so there is extremely a rhythm to this, by which I mean, you're just kind of waiting. Down, right, down. Down, right, down. So that like, you can only do things while the wick exists, while the timer exists. That's interesting. Left, right, up, right. Left, right, up, right. All right, indeed. Yeah, because I ended with right. That's right. I wish I could just do it as early as I could, though. Like, I understand why you can't. But it's kind of a... It's kind of, I don't know, like, it kind of bothers me how, how there's just like, this break. And it's like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. No, 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 no. I'm doing it faster than he is now. Because I know that if I keep to his rhythm, at some point I'm gonna trip up. Right down, reverse fireball. That's a weird one. But it happens sometimes, like, uh, Morgan's air fireball in the first arc soccer. Up, down, up. Here we go. That's when you go up, then you get down so that you can get up. Up, right, all right. All right. Whoa, okay, I, I, so, I was rolling my thumb, and I think because of that, I, uh, accidentally, like, the game thought I pressed down, basically. So, uh, don't roll. It's tempted to roll. I was starting to think about, uh, fighting game motion, so that's why. 
So that's why I started rolling, you know, that's a bad idea sometimes. Because it's very specific in what it wants. Like, you know, like in a fighting game, when you do, like, finger puzzles, there is a certain layer of let they give you. Like, every game is different with that. Some games are kind of bad because they don't give you enough let, actually. But there is a level of let, a level of, like, unprecision you are allowed so that you can functionally play it. And, uh, I mixed up. You start with up, not with down. But yeah, this is not... This is not a fighting game, so it does not have that let. In fact, the precision of the motion is like the whole purpose of the game. Anyways, I won. Uh, see, that I can roll, but I'm still not rolling because uh, it's, it's not risk. It's not worth the risk. It's not worth the danger. Alright, yeah, backwards fireball. Common move, Tatsumaki, for example, that's what that is. Yeah, upward. I don't think I've ever seen, like, uh... Oh, that's Konami. I don't think I've ever seen an upward half circle, but feels like a motion that could exist one day. That's just a half circle. Here we go. Da, 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 da. That's a weird one. That doesn't really have like a real life application. As if any of these is do. I mean, I know what I mean. And if I know what I mean, that means most of you probably know what I mean. <laughs> That's what matters. Uh, this dog be grooving. It's kind of funny how I seem to be having less issue uh, 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 at this speed. Uh, I don't know, like, to me this is a very natural thumb-moving speed. Uh, so, like, I'm feeling comfortable. Like, the only risk is, like, uh, mis-decoding a, uh, a direction. Because it's very possible, uh, there's a lot of... Uh, Opportunities to just kind of like miss see emotion at the speed uh, So I'm being very careful like that's why my oh what yeah, I I Did not recognize what that third input there was it was too fast uh, 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 Right so I thought it was like analogous to that, but it was not All right, it's pretty easy Okay, that was too- like, see, I- 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 I had to make sure in my mind what it was, but that- 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 that meant I didn't have enough time to physically input the command. But hey, I owe more than double the points. I'll take it. Now, time to weight some turtles. Tip the scale! Tip the scale! Clear 25 points by tipping the scale! Which side of the primitive mass detection device is heavier? The left or the right? I don't know. Your mom. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> that was out of character. <laughs> I feel like I need to apologize. I don't know. It just came now. I don't like Orbulon. I don't like his attitude. I don't like the way he constantly insults you. I mean, honestly, I think that goes back that I don't like... I don't like feeling condescended to even by a fictional character. <laughs> You know, it's like the Cheetah character that I forgot the name of from Spyro. Remember how he just kind of completely busted my mood? I feel like Orbalon is a little similar. I don't like him because he's just constantly undermining me, and I don't like it. And I know that's- it's, I know it's a fictional character. I know it's not real. That just does not matter. Uh, the brain, you know, the brain is what the brain does. The brain does what it does. We all got these strange, non-logical, irrational behavior within us, and I am fully aware of mine. But being aware of mine doesn't make them go away. Like, they're still there. They're still there. And, um, just gotta live with that. Alright, this one's kind of boring. There's that one? Yeah, the other one has two small ones. That one has one small one. You just gotta know which one is that and which one is that when I use the words that twice in the same sentence. Uh, this one's kind of boring. I don't know. Like, uh, so it's, it's a little easy. Like, it's just like, uh, yeah. Like, I feel like it's pretty obvious within like a second. Uh, like, as long as you have time to see both these images and they're right next to each other. So they're very easy to, like, obviously visually compare. And so it's like, no, yeah, I see it. Like, I understand now with the, why this is 25 points. 
But what 25 points basically means is that you're gonna be spending just more time on something that's just kind of really easy. And it just feels like, yeah, no, uh, that's where I am. There's two big ones and no small ones on that one. <laughs> That one's pretty good. Gee, I wonder which maybe it's a trick one. One of the oh no, I, I missed. Oh, yeah, the other one does not have any small turtles. See, I mean, yeah, okay, like yeah. Sometimes I'm gonna mess up. Probably, I still find it pretty, pretty boring. I I do not feel particularly stimulated. And you know what? This lack of stimulation could also explain that mistake, because you know when I don't feel stimulated, I'm gonna get lazy. And while that can mean in terms of like emotions and whatnot, like 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 how I'm gonna like interact with the controller and stuff, uh, this will also mean lazy intellectually. Like I'm not going to properly look at the image or something. I'm just gonna like look at the top of the image and just kind of assume, ah, oh, it's probably that one. You know, like that's what I mean. And uh, I think that's what happened during that one failure. Um, massive turtle beach though there. That one has a big guy, it's pretty great. That one has a lot of big guys, it's pretty swell. They don't look like they're enjoying themselves all that much. Like, look at their eyes. I mean, like, I'd say look at their mouth, but the thing is... Turtle mouths are not created to emote properly anything. Like, they're not designed for that, so you can't use mouth. But I feel like... Using eyes is almost universal to look into how a thing feels, but I don't know about that. I think, no, no, I think I'm just making that up. I think that's just a very human thing that uh, I am mistakenly attributing to animals, which is something everyone does. It's not a unique trait. It's just natural. Look at that. Max conflict. Conflict's not what I wanted. Max contrast. There we go. Maximum contrast, but well, I mean the maximum would be if it was the um, Four pile and was like all big on one side and all small on the other. I don't know if that ever happens I feel like there's always a mix once we get to level three Like they're not just gonna make similar looking pile. Well, I mean they're gonna be similar looking but like they're not gonna be like It's like a big pile like a Big Mac a burger Big Mac it's a Big Mac for burgers. What? In that sentence, no, that, that didn't make any sense. Hey, max contrast again, there we go. And see, then we got like a very similar pile immediately after it. The W stands for watts, because we're measuring the energy that is being displayed by the mass of these turtles. That is not true. W clearly stands for Wario, maybe weight. I just said something silly in order to create a humorous like little like surprise or like you know your reaction is like what that doesn't make any sense and my brain reacts to that surprise with like like energy and it's like whoa it's good it's fun release those chemicals brain release them See, that one's pretty close that one's not well, I mean it's a little bit close that one's not very close at all. Little guy is going like, whoa. I know, right? I would also go like, whoa, probably. If I was one of these turtles. Well, if I was one of these turtles, I would exist and then stop existence. Like within the span of a single second. So I don't think I would have any sort of emotional maturity to really react in any meaningful way. Whoop, I pressed the wrong one. I didn't, I didn't like, just compute the small guy at the bottom of the pile. But yeah, like, these the guy's existence is vanishingly small. They do not, they are, and then they do not again, like, nearly immediately. If you consider the fact that every existing, like, fictional character sort of ex end up existing in this parcel abstract universe outside of ours, then WarioWare Mega Micro Games is probably one of the cruelest game, cruelest universe of all, instantly creating and ending lives constantly. Like, it's just, it's just kind of terrible to think about, so I'm not going to anymore. 
But also, you know, I mean, it's complete nonsense. That's not a real thing. Or is it? I mean, it's the kind of thing where, like, probably not. I mean, like, you, we cannot really test that. It's not a thing we have the means of testing, but probably not. Anyways, wow, this has going on. Like, I told you, man. I told you guys. This is, this is an easy one. I don't know why there's a spike at the bottom of the the the, the weight. It's like uh, I guess it's like it's the the so like the arm of the weight falls into it. Like I get that. Is it like just to push it back up? But why does it look so sharp? Like I'd be afraid to prick my finger on that if this was a thing that was happening in my life. I've been rocking on my chair a little bit. So um apologies if my voice was uneven maybe during some of this. It's, uh, I have no excuses. I just have to apologize for it. I just haven't really been thinking. This isn't a thinking kind of day, I guess. It happens. Uh, anyways, hey, hi, how's it going? I'm pressing left or right, depending on which side of the scale has the heaviest mass on it. It's pretty good. Am I gonna have to fast forward, or am I just gonna have to stop at some point? Because, uh... I don't think this game is getting any slower. Faster is what I meant to say. Well, oh, I pressed the wrong one, sorry. All right, well, you know what? I think that's what I missed. I don't think I want another monkey situation because we're not even done. Like, we still have two more games to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is probably for the best. Uh, Alright. Strength in numbers. 25. It just means the game goes long. The squid and octopi are in disagreement. Which side has more military enabled units? Whoa, what? Were they going doing the war thing here? That's sad. Alright, well, I mean, yeah. Overwhelming strength here by the squid guys. Oh, I don't like the fact that this is an actual like military encounter. I thought it's just you know a fun numbers game or something. I didn't think it was like a prequel to violence. I don't like that. I'm mostly just eyeballing it, and uh, here that led me astray. Really? Because it really... Oh, no. I don't know. I don't know. Because see here, that's pretty obvious. Well, it's not really. Like, the numbers are close. Is there... Like, because, like, at a high speed, like, how are you going to count that? Because, yeah, if they're only, only, always one number off. But, I mean, that's not the case, though. Uh, really? Oh, it's because sometimes they're behind others and you can't see them well. Huh, I need to get 25, huh? Cause see, this is obvious. No, see, the problem is that I got put to sleep by the Turtles game, and now I'm, I, I am not willing to just do the work here. But, but still though, like, I don't, I don't know if I can count 11 and 12 that fast manually. I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to. Uh, that's... I mean, yeah, okay. See, here it's obvious. Here they're not just, like, one-off. And I wonder if they're meant to not just be one-off all the time and I just got kind of unlucky for a hot second there. Because it seems... It just seems kind of weird that you have to count, like, more than ten... Like, 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 so close all the time. But yeah, now, now, it feel, I feel like the difficulty has adjusted, and it's a lot more what I expected the game to be. So maybe, yeah, maybe it's just roll of the die. Just gave me, like, a bunch of, really, like, a very close ones. I see seven and eight, that's pretty close. Like, I don't know if I can eyeball reliably seven and eight differently, like, without, like, actually counting. But yeah, I, I think that's, uh... Okay. Yeah, I think that was just sort of like a weird little, uh... Yeah, okay. Little accident. Little statistical accident. There we go. I mean, that's fine if they're all on each side. Uh, 
Yeah, well, I was not sure. 8-7. That's, that's hard. Uh, it's I... Look, man, I cannot count 12 and 11 at that speed. I don't think so. All right. Dude, how does this... How does... Wait, do I have a crap? I have a crap, sorry. Whoops, uh, that was misinput. I knew it was that. I knew it was them, but I... My thumb slipped. What can I say? So, yeah, like, like I said, I don't trust my ability to count two sets at this speed. Like, that just doesn't make sense. So what I'm actually doing, I'm just trying to process, like, which color seems to take the most amount of screen estate on the screen. Which I'm aware is not... Uh, alright, it's fine. Now, like, it's not an accurate way to go because sometimes it will be against one another and so, like, you're gonna have critters that are hidden by others and stuff. But it works well enough. Like, it works fine for my needs and it's all I really need. And it got me clear, so it's all good. Yeah, this has been a long session. Matchbox 15. It's a car, right? Yeah, watch uh, geometrical molecular compositions. Concentrate. Then you select, and then you enter. Good times. Matchbox. Matchbox houses. Like I associate Matchbox with like um cars, but these are clearly. Uh, it's a frog with the square lower head. Oh, and you got. No, oh, it changed. Oh, but you still have a. First of all, it did not change. Second of all, you. A rare game where. It, no, it has a high thing. Then it's you. Then it's you. It, um. A rare game where you're allowed to make a mistake and correct yourself. That's weird. You. This is like a literal, actual baby game. Well, except the shapes are kind of complicated. Like, you got, like, differences, you know, like, 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 pretty small detail differences here, there. I mean, you know, like, a lot of games out there are basically just baby games, just with more, with more going on. The things that stimulate the brains are things that stimulate the brains, it turns out. This is just add complexity. There was a lot of, a lot of sounds in that word. This just means the exact same shapes I just had. I feel like I just have- I didn't know how many- oh hey, that's new. It's just shapes. This is a children's game, except, you know, it's the one where you gotta get three, so, you know, you, you kind of simplify it a little bit. That makes sense to me. These are probably not supposed to be frog heads, but that's what they look like to me, alright? And then you- these looks like noses. I feel like they're cars, because you got, like, the wheels, but, like, I think they're meant to be noses. Okay, check it out. Three shapes. Wow, unbelievable. I can find a shape. That's a circle. We did it. We've we found sir. All right. Uh. 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 No. 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 Where is it? I couldn't find it. I couldn't find the thing. Like I knew it was there somewhere. Oh, I just. I'm. I'm struggling finding it. Like I can. Like I'm. I'm not seeing the entire grid of uh, things fast enough. Okay. Okay. So we've reached that amount of speed now, yeah, and then... No, you gotta, like, actually move there, that's not 
free. That is not a free process. Like, you have to analyze, discern, and then... What? Oh, shoot. And I lost. Alright, how many points is this? Again, I still blame turtle mode. Oh, I won. It was 15? Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, yeah, Turtle just killed me. I think you can tell in, like, just the way I speak. It's, uh... Boredom is a powerful force. Be wary. It will corrupt you and make you unable to do anything forever!